Hey all my Lost Crew friends, my name is Forge and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft tutorial where today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to build this very simple, very easy water elevator inside of the Update Aquatic Minecraft Java 1.13 in Minecraft Bedrock 1.5 and soon Minecraft Console Edition Title Update 67. Now this elevator is very simple to actually build, it's actually very fast as well. Now the best part about this is that you can actually go up as high as you want and it won't affect anything at all. So I've actually tested this and if I come right over here it takes us about 2 seconds to get up to the very top of here but then all the way up here that takes about an extra second or so. So I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys on how this works. The sheep is going to be our test subject and then I'm going to show you guys on how to actually build this. Okay looks like the sheep failed the test. So instead I'm just going to come in here. So right here we have ourselves a soul sand block and right over here we have ourselves the magma block which takes us a little bit slower to actually reach the bottom, but still about 2 seconds, which is actually very good. Now if I come right up here, I'm going to show you guys the infinitely build water elevator. So I'm actually going to go ahead and break this block. And we're going to want to go ahead and place in these blocks right here on the side. And then we're going to want to place in a single water source block wherever the part it does end up stopping. So right here, we have ourselves the bubble columns. I'm actually going to place that right there. And then it should start working automatically. So if I come right over here, I'm going to go ahead and go all the way up to the top and as you guys can see in about 3 seconds we made it to the very top. It is that simple to actually build this thing. It's actually just very surprising and plus this is a brand new feature that was introduced within the update aquatic and a lot of people they love to figure out new things that they can use these brand new features for. Now bubble columns I think they were secretly designed for this right here. So what I'm going to do now is show you guys on how to actually build this thing. So to build this you're going to need any block of your choice. So for me, I'm going to be using wood. You could also use glass to see the bubble columns, but I'm going to be using signs. And then you're also going to need to get yourself a bunch of water buckets. You're going to need to get yourself a soul sand block and one magma block. Now these two blocks are really dependent on how many uh, water elevators you're going to be building. So for me, I'm just going to be building one. So we're just going to need one of these blocks. So, so first things first, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and place down any block of your choice. So for me, as I mentioned, I'm using wood, so I'm actually not going to go up as high as I did earlier because this is just going to be a little bit of a tutorial and I actually build this thing and then you guys can go ahead and take it from there. So then once you're going to do that, I'm actually going to place down some blocks right here and then this is where you're going to want to place in your signs or your glass. So as I mentioned, I'm using signs because the glass, I don't like how you can see the pixels within the glass. So of course, there are resource packs that actually get rid of those. But I have to Alright, so once you went ahead and placed in all of your wood blocks, in your signs or glass, go ahead and come over to this side or any side that you want to start with and go ahead and place in your soul sand block and then right over here your magma block. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simply place in the water bucket right on the very top and then it should start working as you guys can see. It is that simple. And I think that a lot of people can actually use this pretty well within their homes but it doesn't cause very much lag. Now if you're inside of the pocket edition or bedrock and not Java edition, there is a setting that you can turn on or off within the main menu settings. You can't turn it on or off within the game, but it is called Fancy Bubbles. So right over here, we have Fancy Bubbles. Now what Fancy Bubbles does, it pretty much makes the bubbles go a little bit invisible, but not as many bubbles will appear. Now that's going to be very useful for like a lot of newer devices like Xbox Ones or Windows 10s or perhaps a, a very good mobile device. Now if you have a very cheap mobile device or an older device, then it's not going to be that good for your device because it can cause a lot of lag and nobody wants lag. But other than that guys, uh, that's pretty much it on this tutorial. So building these elevators is very simple. All you need is any block of your choice, any signs or glass that you want to see this through. And then you're also just going to need to get yourself a soul sand and magma block for the bubble columns. Now if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, then please let me know by leaving a like on it. That would be much appreciated. And subscribe for more tutorials by me in the future. But for now, I hope that you have a logical day, and I will catch you next time. Bye!